I'm Juliana Rani Carbreeze. I don't normally do poems, I normally do vignettes, but this is a poetry evening, so let's go with it. This is entitled The End and a New Beginning. 2006, a pivotal year. Her magical husband announced he no longer loved her, had broken the fidelity bond, had fallen in love with another, a trickster no less, a loan never repaid. 25 years of marital life, unaware of her, where, of her ways, her restricted behavior, her style, her domination, her taste, her selfishness, her alpha personality. 2006, a reign of revenge, a reign of destruction, a reign of harassment, a reign of manipulation, a reign of mental abuse. Time to destroy, time to steal the tangible and the intangible, time to relish human destruction, time to gloat at his masterpiece, a wreck with no identity. Time for the manipulative puppet master to pull the strings. The end of the collaboration, the end of the long friendship, the end of the trust, the end of the bond, the end of respect, the magic cord cut forever. Drugs, drink, sex and rock and roll. Sexual freedom, financial freedom, divorce. Breakdown, a human carcass, the remains of the day, the gradual realization, the clouded mind became clear, tears of shame when the drink and drugs ended. A new life for him, Chinese prostitutes supplied by Coco. An amour in Beijing, an amour in Chiang Mai, land of a thousand smiles, a Thai bride, now a widow. Fate intercepted, aggressive leukemia, death with an ear. A new life for her, a new abode, a new voice, a new look, a new beginning. New interests, new friends, new opportunities, new journeys, new roads to travel, new ventures. A new strength from the ashes of destruction, Positivity out of negativity. The phoenix flew once again, not scorned, forgiving, letting go, going from strength to strength, soaring from the past into the present with a mission. The end of the magical illusion, the magic went out of the magic. Thank you. another poem. Um, I went to stay with somebody in Petworth uh, and a very unusual man who is a psychic poet. Obviously I'm not going to mention his name. And this is my ode to the psychic poet of Petworth. With his permission he liked it. <laughs> and he changed his look. He was just an ordinary man suddenly he changed, which means anybody can change. Hmm. New shiny black cap. New shiny black trousers. But why, asked I? No ironing required, was his odd reply. <laughs> New transparent tight black square design shirt. But why, asked I? To be different. To have a new image, was his reply. A new black leather cycle jacket to complete the look, to shock the Middle England residents of Petworth, perchance, to make them smile, perchance, to be or not to be different. It takes courage to be and look different. I know, it takes one to know one. A psychic being, a palmist, a historian, 
a man of many qualities and hidden talents. Scottish traveller heritage, historic frame prints of gypsies abound within his reclusive nest, surrounded by his memories, photographs and spirits from his past lives and three wives, poetry from his last love from beyond, controlling his hand, her channeled words on paper, a stream of consciousness from another realm, still together through the power of inspirational words, treasured objects in utter, in organized clutter, chairs abound, a large crystal ball perched on a decorative stand, cards on the table to be read, miniature houses displayed in a large showcase, books and books and books. Gypsy caravans placed on a side table, owls and cats carefully placed indoors and outdoors, faux flowers in vases collecting dust, spiritual Bristol blue. A mouse says good morning or good night, part of the silent, it's all true by the way, part of the silent family. The silence of the night broken by the click of the laptop keys transcribing her wise words from beyond. The psychic poet, still in black, beavers away until he will join her once more in the bright light. 